All right, guys, so the first thing that you need to do in order to put an emulator in your thing is activate developer mode on your Xbox console. So what this allows you to do is this would allow you to basically um, use a certain, I guess, workaround in order to put the emulator on it. You do have to pay a $19 activation fee, um, but it's actually really good. So what you need to do is... You need to go to the Microsoft Partner Center and activate it. So this is the Microsoft Partner uh, thing. You you register an account, you join, and you become a partner. Um, and again, it is just a one-time fee of 19 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and use my account so you guys could see um, what it looks like on mine. You select the country or region that you're in, and you will have to pay a $19 one-time fee so you can see right here you have individual and you also have company you would choose individual fill out your info and pay the one-time fee you don't ever have to pay anymore but this allows you to activate developer mode on your Xbox all right there are several steps to this process but the first thing that you would need to do is look up dev kit in the Xbox store and you're going to pick this green one if you have the Series X or S. Don't choose this black one. This black one's for the One, the Xbox One. So you get this, you download it, and then from here you have to go and activate it from the Microsoft Partner Center. So the Microsoft Partner Center is a separate website that you'll have to log into and enter the activation code that you're going to get from this right here. So for example, I just got this activation code. I'm going to go to that website and activate this Xbox in developer mode using this code. But you have to make sure you have that Microsoft. All right, guys. So now that I have my Microsoft partner account set up, I paid the $19 fee. I'm going to go to my dev kit, get an activation code, and I'm going to enter this code into this section. So, as soon as we do that, we will have this Xbox activated. And biggity bang, if you go back, dev mode is now activating. So, it's pretty easy. So, step one, go to Microsoft Partner Center with the link down below. Set up as an individual. Pay the $19 fee. Go to the Xbox store. Download the dev kit app. Then, you enter the code onto your website and biggity bang right there it's now activated so to use your console for development you can switch to developer mode and restart all right guys so when you first launch into developer mode you will not be connected to the internet so what you need to do is you need to select launch home to open the dashboard and then you need to go to your settings app select general network settings and set up your network as you normally would all right so you got to do that so we'll set up our network and it looks like we are now wired let's test a network connection we're all good okay now to go back to dev mode you have to select the dev home icon so now what you're going to do is you're going to set up remote access so that you can send files between your xbox and your computer this is going to help you be able to send files to and fro this is how you're going to get your roms how you're going to get your emulators and things like that so you can look for the remote access section on your home of your dashboard for the dev kit you're going to see an ip address that's the ip address that you're going to use to do this so you would select remote access settings from here and you'll have this kind of page right here. You'll see remote access settings and stuff. This is where you're gonna work from. So you're going to type a username and password to authenticate and send files to your Xbox. And then, you know, you can also take away authentication if you trust that. <laughs> but now we're going to try it out. This is a little complicated, but it's worth it. So now you'll see on the top of your remote access, there'll be a website. On mine, it says Xbox 11443. You're going to click that and it'll send you to a login page where you enter the authentication app that you just got. The, the, the authentication username and password that you just created. 
So it's kind of cool. You get your own little secret login page. And as you can see, I am logged in now into my portal. And this is where you would put your your uh, your files. This is where you can add Xbox Live test accounts and all sorts of different things. So this is how to get into developer mode to set up developer mode and everything like that. Now we're going to install the actual emulators. It's a lot of stuff, but you only have to do it once and you're, you're good to go. And it's not that hard. All right, so I'm going to leave a link to this. This is the Retro Arch or Retro Arc website we're going to go ahead and install the emulator from here so what we're going to do is we are going to download it so you head to the downloads page and you grab the xbox one version um and you also have to grab the microsoft visual c plus plus 2015 uh uwp runtime package so you you basically download both of these but you can see there's all sorts of different versions of retroarch on here we're gonna download this one all right so that's step one as you, you download the Xbox version and guys your final step is you will upload your files right here so you would go to my games and apps you would find the file that you just downloaded for RetroArch in the dependency you drag and drop it right into there and then you click next all the steps, biggity bang, do your own self setup for your own settings for uh, RetroArch and you are good to go. So that is it. Hopefully this installation process helped you out. Uh, there's other apps you could even install as well. I think there's like a one called Retrix. That's an emulator that you could do that as well. And then you can also install the ROMs by USB. I'm not gonna tell you where to get them, but hopefully you're backing them up legally. Anyways, um, there are plenty, in-depth tutorials on YouTube. I just kind of wanted to give you a quick and dirty one. Hopefully this helped you out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.